probably seen videos of black smokers on the ocean floor where hydrothermal fluids are venting from chimneys. Ever want to get up close and personal with one of those, but can't get down into the submarine? Well, there's a spot in Yellowstone National Park where you can actually see those sorts of features right at the surface. Welcome to Monument Geyser Basin, where chimney-like structures abound, very similar to what we might see on the ocean floor. Now, Monument Geyser Basin sits near the edge of Yellowstone Caldera. All of the rock around us is made of Lava Creek Tuff, which is the ash layer that came out about 631,000 years ago when Yellowstone Caldera formed. It's heavily altered because of all of this acid gas that's been coming through, turning it from that ash layer into clay. But how do these monuments form? Well, the thought there is that they might very much resemble what happens at the bottom of the ocean with those black smokers, that there might have been a lake here at one time. Perhaps this happened towards the end of the last ice age, maybe about 14,000 years ago or so. An ice dammed lake might have formed, and then any sort of hydrothermal venting that happened could have built up these spires. So here at the top of the hill, you get a view of what might actually be happening at the bottom of the ocean. So that's the story from Monument Geyser Basin. Now let's talk about what happened in the last month in terms of seismic activity, ground deformation, and geyser activity. Well, the quietness of 2024 seems to have extended into the beginning of 2025. The University of Utah, which locates earthquakes in the Yellowstone region, identified just 56 earthquakes during the month. Now, the largest was a magnitude 3.7 that was located near the Norris Geyser Basin. That occurred right at the end of January, and it was followed by a series of almost 25 aftershocks. So about half the earthquakes of the month are right in this area. This is the same area where there was a swarm of earthquakes that occurred through the second half of 2022 and into some of 2023, and the 3.7 is the largest earthquake to have occurred in about two years in Yellowstone National Park. Still, this is pretty normal for the Yellowstone region, so we're looking at background levels of seismic activity during January. Turning now to ground deformation, this is vertical deformation at a site in Hayden Valley on the east side of the caldera. Downward trends indicate subsidence, upward trends indicate uplift. Each one of these blue dots is one day of data, and the entire plot spans the last two years. And you can see subsidence interrupted in the summertime by a little bit of uplift, or at least a pause in that subsidence, turning back into subsidence during the winter months. Uplift here, minor amount in 2024 summer, and then back into subsidence starting in about October. This has been the pattern since 2015. The overall subsidence rate is about an inch or so per year, and that really hasn't changed any time uh, since 2015. Now looking at the world's tallest geyser, Steamboat Geyser, in Norris Geyser Basin. It has not erupted this past month, but has lots and lots of minor activity. This is showing temperature in the geyser's outflow channel, and all of this up and down in the temperature record is minor eruptive activity. Unfortunately, the temperature record ends here in late January. That's because we lost connection with this particular site. But we know from other data, seismic data and acoustic data, it hasn't erupted yet. Nevertheless, all of this minor activity points to potentially a major eruption in the coming weeks. Well, that does it for the monthly update of the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory. If you enjoyed this, please hit like and subscribe down below. And remember, you can always drop us a line anytime. Either give us a question in the comments or send us an email. YVO Web Team, all one word, at usgs.gov. From Monument Geyser Basin, stay safe, stay healthy, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.